back to Irma and bring in Florida's Attorney General, Republican Pam Bondi. Ma'am, welcome back to the program. It's great to see you again. Thanks. Great to see you, Stuart. Been a long week. Yeah, yes, it sure has. Uh, thousands of upscale homes are unoccupied in Florida, open to looters. How are you going to stop them? Um, what we're going to do is, well, well, I guess you've seen the video that's gone viral because most of the country, um, most of the state, we're not experiencing that, just so you know. That's a bunch of idiots in Miami who are hopefully still sitting in jail. I plan on talking to the state attorney down there and making sure that they are, well, she's great, making Pam, sure that they are they, fully they, prosecuted. They let you down. They were the blemish on Florida's road. Right. That's for sure. That's but right. Look, we've been contacted by a lot of people who, were, who had to evacuate. They're out of their homes. They want right. to know, are their homes safe from looters and anybody who tries to get in and steal stuff whilst they're away? What do you, how are you going to stop that? Yes. Well, Stuart, we, here's, here's how. Governor Scott has deployed the entire National Guard. We have the National Guard out everywhere. All of our great sheriffs and police chiefs are out and ready to go. And what people need to know, don't go back to your home. We still have standing water. Just what you just showed in that video, it's not safe. So it's even more dangerous for you to go back and try to protect your home when law enforcement tells you that it's not safe to be there yet because of the power lines down, the lack of power, the water, the flooding still, as you saw in Jacksonville, Florida, where it really wasn't supposed to take a direct hit there, yet did. But there's a lot of good going on as well as well, those idiots down there <laughs> looting who I hope they're still sitting in jail right now. You dealt with price gouging for bottled water. I think you dealt with price gouging at gas uh, stations. Now, what about hotels and airlines? Okay, so, oh, airlines, Stuart, have been amazing, and I've got to talk about Delta, American, JetBlue, United, Southwest, they have all, I've been on the phone with all of their general counsels, they've waived pet fees, they've capped prices, some of them as low as $99 to get people out. They waived change fees, and something really important is they waived pet fees. That these planes were packed with pets, getting people out of our state because people don't want to leave without our pets. Airlines have been amazing. Um, Home Depot today. Wait till you hear what they're doing. Home Depot today. I was coordinating this all last night. We have over. 80 trucks, Home Depot, they're waiting in Atlanta, packed, ready to go. They're going to have escorts down into our state today bringing cases of bottled water at $2.97 a case, generators, plywood, um, um, extension cords, everything people need down in South Florida, which, with, where the Home Depots are ready to be opened again. Mm. And that'll help us prevent the gougers who come in trying to sell generators at $1,000 a piece. Pam Bondi, the Attorney General of the State of Florida, I want to thank you for bringing us good, positive business stories. Mm. Capitalism in thank a favorable you. light. We love that. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. We need that. <laughs> uh, yes. We'll see you again soon. That's a promise. Thank you very much indeed.